Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As any performer, entertainer, speaker, you are supposed to tailor your speech according to your audience. If you think that your audience is uh, elevated, intellectually sophisticated, you would deliver a certain kind of speech. If you think your audience is dumb, then you're going to change it that way okay and you can say certain things uh being certain that your statements will not be questions because you assume the audience is dumb so we have here zelensky who is a professional entertainer he is an actor he is a clown he is an whatever and he makes some statements that are not only funny they would be funny if they would not actually be serious and could have consequences but anyway as i said he tailors his um, statements according to the population that he targets that's all not you and i mm -mm. other other sector of the society so let's see what this guy is saying zelensky says that the sooner putin admits his mistake and retreats the longer he and his entourage will live so the sooner he retreats, the longer he will live. If he doesn't retreat, he's going to die. All right, that's the reverse of whatever he says. Now, this is very funny because he says, uh, the sooner Putin admits his mistake and retreats. And that, for me, is funny because uh, I will tell you. I met a, uh, an English guy. His first name was Jamie. I like the guy. Anyway, we had a friendship and so on in the United States of America. He is in Great Britain, back in England. And uh, he made a lot of jokes, politically incorrect jokes. He was making fun of uh, all kind of uh, British people, Scots, Irish. He was making jokes, politically incorrect, but he, hey, he was funny. I will tell you one of these jokes and is not intended to offend anybody. It's just the way he told me the joke and it went, made sense and I laughed a lot. So this is, put this, substitute this he was talking about an Irish guy. So the Irish guy substituted the Irish guy for Putin. Okay? And the uh, English channel as the war in Ukraine and the victory. So uh, this friend of mine, Jamie, said, well, that's, it's a story when an Irish guy wanted to swim across the English channel to France. And when he got midway, he got tired and he turned around. All right? So I laughed as I couldn't fucking, I was dying. So this is what Zelensky tells Putin, who's more than halfway towards victory. Now he tells Putin, how about you turn around and go home? What do you mean? It's going to be at least the same distance from here to the end, if not less. Why should I turn around? I'm winning. I'm beating you. I'm getting there where I want to get. You tell me to go around? Are you crazy? So basically, this is what, how I see this Zelensky in this one. Yeah, why don't you turn around? Didn't you get tired? And we're going to spare your life. Maybe I, I would be the one who would spare your life, buddy. And I've been doing that for about 11 months now. But let's see what other stupidities this uh, Zelensky says. They always say Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, so they don't say the Jewish President Volodymyr Zelensky. That's why they say whenever they, it's about Jewish President, this is just, just to... You know, if you have a small dick, you're always going to be uh, trying to, uh, how to call, compensate it with a big car or something like that. That's psychologically whatever. So the same with this, with this guy, okay? These guys are the uh, Ukrainian President Zelensky, you know? Why don't you say President Zelensky? Why, say, why don't you say Ukraine's president? It's always Ukrainian because he's Ukrainian, as you know. Kosher, not that, but anyway. Anyway, so I'm going to read as it is. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is convinced that Russian... There you go, because Putin is not. At least in this article, they made it equal. Sometimes they say Russia's president. So the Ukrainian president and Russia's president, you know, like Putin is not Russian or something, will not be able to win the war. So the sooner the Russian dictator... He was elected. What are you talking about? And he's not acting with decrees like, hey, you do, and Biden, to a certain extent. So the sooner the Russian dictator recognizes this 
and withdraws troops from Ukraine, the longer both he and his entourage will live. And who's going to kill them? You? The American masters? Who? Is that a threat? So Zelensky said that in an interview with The Economist. Because The Economist uh, listened to him and because he's a very important person. The sooner the war, and I'm quoting, the sooner the war ends and if Russia admits that starting the war was a tragic mistake, the longer the Russian president will save his life and the lives of those around him. End quote. Details. The president of Ukraine, oh, not the Ukrainian president, is convinced that it is already clear that Putin will lose. I don't know, man. I have a different uh, take on that based on the evidence I have. So it's not, uh, it's not clear to me. I know you want to push this being clear, but hey, buddy, not clear at all. And by the way, he's uh, more than halfway <laughs> across the ch uh, English Channel swimming. And Ukraine must return to its borders in 1991. Why not it returns to its border from 1917? I want Ukraine to return to its borders of 1917. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look for Ukraine nation ukraine state in 1917 okay okay because if it does not happen the aggressor will return again that's why russia wants to make sure fucks you up once and for all you and your uh, weasels over there your sponsors so you're never gonna be threatening russia with security concerns and with nato weapons at its borders so once that's happening you're gonna be a-okay he's gonna cuddle with you all right. He also noted that, and I'm quoting, we need to look at the real picture. Oh, the real picture. Hey, the real pictures just between you and I. When the whole world, is there such a thing as a whole world? First of all, okay, and what about a second? Doesn't just show support. The whole world shows support. But diplomatically, economically, with sanctions and isolation shows that aggression must be paid for. Return to the borders and then pay. Money, 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 money. Ladies of the night and alcohol, all pa 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 pa. Right, so this idiot is saying this, he's an idiot. He says, when the whole world all right, shows support, which is a lie, it's not the whole world, it's a number of states, but beat them diplomatic economically with sanction in isolation. Russia is not also isolated. I can name right now out of the top from the top of my head at least 10 countries that do business with Russia, including the European Union and uh, United States, buddy. So you're talking smack. Now, and uh, the aggression must be paid for. No, no. And if it's so, then we should uh, have the NATO countries pay for their aggression of Yugoslavia. Should we? And if not, why not? So you see, that was an aggressor, ag aggression in 1999, Zelensky. Smack. Remember that one? No. Smack. Because you didn't remember it. Now you remember it? Okay. Keep it in your head. Smack. Keep it there. This is Zelensky. All right. So look how many, how, he, he talks, he's interviewed by The Economist. Now the wizards will be like, yeah, say it, Zelensky. Yeah, man. Yeah. Do you hear the guy? Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Mm. But you and I? Look at it like, uh, let's be real, the real picture. That's his real picture. When the whole world doesn't just support, but diplomatically, economically, with sanctions and isolation, shows, shows that aggression must be paid, return to your borders, and then pay. The pay. Reparations. You remember the reparations? I mean, he's kosher, so they like reparations, uh, a lot of them. And they got them. Now, Zelensky added that only Putin can transfer the way from a military path to a diplomatic one. The, the bird is gone. The train left the station a long time ago, December 2022. Remember when you didn't want to talk to him? Remember when the Americans were like, <laughs> when the, the Russian foreign ministry sent that little, hey, let's talk about these kind of things, the security concerns that we have, let's do this. What did you do? I know what you did. You were in a bathroom jerking off. That's what you were doing. Quote from president of Ukraine. Oh, uh, not the Ukrainian president. Hey, you're, you're breaking the protocol here. And I'm quoting, if he now withdraws to the borders of 1919, na, 1991, no, he's going to return to the borders of 1917 of Ukraine. Okay? It's even better. Then a possible path to diplomacy, a possible, so it still depends to, 
Imagine you're on top of a guy, beating the guy up, bam, bam, the guy is, ah, e, ah, e, uh, uh, and he's telling you, hey, 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 if you get off me right now, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? Ow, ow, ah, e. That's how Ukraine is. Ah, e, ooh, ah, ah, ah. If you get off of me, I might spare your life. Ah, e, uh, uh. Actor, actor, what do you want? Anyway, so that's who can turn the war from a military path to a diplomatic one. Only he can do it. No, he tried doing that until the February 24th. And I'm not defending that guy. The evidence is there. You don't know it? I'm no, I know what to tell you. Go and do a little clicks and go back in time and get the chronology of events. And you're going to find out how many times the Russians tried to get the Ukrainians. Hey, they signed the, the Minsk protocols. Two of them. Who didn't implement them? Who wanted to buy time? The former president of uh, uh, Ukraine, what's his name? Prokochevich, Prakashevich, uh, Prokoshenko, whatever his name is. And Markle, Merkel, not Meghan Markle, that piece of slut. Not that one, the other one that tells us how to live our lives and he doesn't even have fucking have a family. Fucking. Anyway. So, background. Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky believes that the Russian dictator Putin loves life and fears death. So he is unlikely to use nuclear, nuclear weapons. Did you hear that? That's the reason. This is how this guy's reason. Oh, he's afraid to die. That's the only reason he loves life. Ooh, that, that's why he makes love with life all, every evening, three times. Anyway, so that, that's what, what, why, the only reason why he's not using nuclear weapons. Because he's crazy, but he loves life too much and doesn't want to die. That guy, how sophisticated that guy is. If he thinks like that, then he's a fucking retard, that's one thing. And if he's just manufacturing that little speech for the retards, it works. It works. Go and talk with uh, a big strata of the, our population, our um, fellow uh, citizens, constituency, voters, and see how they think. They will say, what's wrong with that, Emil? Uh, okay. Can I have another piece, please? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm not going to talk to you. Why am I supposed to talk with these guys? Look at that. Look at that. And that's the president of the country. Interviewed what, what? The Telegraph, whatever. No, it wasn't Telegraph. Whatever it was. The Economist. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe that. That's why when you hear, oh my God, that's an expert. Oh my God, it's a president. Or an FBI agent or something like this. No. Why don't you open your trap, start talking, and in about five minutes, I kind of know how much you think, how you think, and that's the important thing, how you process information and how you, what a mental process you use to analyze information and then spew it out. Because it's easy to memorize stuff. It's easier. That's the basic of, of, of intelligence. Memorizing. That's the part number one. Okay? That's like your heart beats. Pop, 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 pop. That's it. Well, you don't do anything about it. You know? But to become strong, you have to, you know, physically and mentally, you have to fight for it. You have to learn. You have to, you have, you have to accumulate and you have to stress. You have to do something about it to achieve that. So in order, in order to be smart, you, don't, you have to know how to use the information. How to use it. You have to use it, a, a, some, some kind of way of thinking. The processing information. And that's a certain method. Certain methods. You now, likes, dislikes, gone. Objectivity, yes. Chronology of events, yes. All the information that is, uh, it comes to you, you get it, you verify it, you vet it. No, I don't like this information. Pump, oh, this is against my uh, values. Bonk, well, pff, therefore you're going to reach to this guy's level. No, he loves life. That's why he's not using we uh, nuclear weapons. Imagine Putin or I or you stay across, stand across of this guy in a negotiation table. And he tried to deal with him and negotiate about something and say, Hey, uh, you're not using nuclear weapons because you're afraid to die. <laughs> Things are more sophisticated than that. And, sophisticated, and what are you going to do? And this is the uh, Ukrainian one. Ukrainian. And you got the American, you got the Brit, the same kind of shit. And you say, bring the fucking people in here. Bring the adults here. I'm done with these juveniles. Bam, bam, bam. Get the fuck out. And that's why we are where we are. And interest, money, and power that put these weasels in control. Uh, and they uh, do what they do best, which is follow orders. <sighs> orders have consequences on all of us. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.